Maya, give me five. Okay, a couple things on the serve. Amaya, it really just comes down to the components. Grip, swing, body. So those three, grip, swing, body, we add one more component on the serve, the toss. Now, you have to just ask yourself, where do the problems come from? When we tell a player to have the palm down motion, we say comb the hair. Salute, like you're brushing your teeth, salute, the brushing the hair effect. Then, then players have a tendency to literally bring their hand too close to their head in this position. And that's a problem that Amaya has right now. Now, corrections. We've been telling her to serve from what we call the third base position. And I call it that because once a year anyway, you're going to see a baseball pitcher on the cover of Sports Illustrated just like this. Now the serve, the first movement, once you're going to turn your shoulders, you're here. Now the racket goes 450 degrees. It goes 90 here. Now it goes 180. And then it goes another 180. This movement is horizontal plane behind you. You can't see with a human eye. But if, if Amaya has her elbow here, now the, the distance can be as much as five feet in length, like this. But when she brings her hand up close to her head, that distance is very, very short. Now, you would never see someone throw a ball where they went like this, football or a baseball. You wouldn't see them be in this position. They're going to be back here. So the ball will go between my elbow and my head this way, in this position. So let's have you just shadow swing the serve. So just one adjustment is her heel pad. And she wasn't quite on continental because she wants to get the ball in. And young players, old players, they just want to turn the racket this way because logic tells them if they can do this, they can swing straight to the target and get the ball in. But on serves, you're not only blind to your target, you swing away from your target. So go ahead, shadow swing. You're going to load, stay back longer. So now this elbow stays right here on the post, and the movement is going to be like this. So here's the 90 degrees. Now the movement that you really can't see, unless you get slow motion, is the racket's going to go way around like this. And that's why it's so important to get the toss out to the right. You think of someone like a Ronich who hits such a big serve. Now, what we wanted to have you do is just hit some serves. Get all your weight on the back foot, and just put the racket in the third base drill like this. We also call this the cobra position. Go back. Now let go of the racket. And just the arm dangling like this, it's okay. It looks a little bit like a cobra. Okay, so start from here. Okay, turn. Now shadow swing one and hit out. Now go slow. So slow on that shadow swing. You don't want the hand to come so close to the head because this distance is going to be very, very reduced in size. And go ahead. All right, now serve. All right, one more time. Shadow swing. So again, keep this elbow in this position, shoulders loose. So you're not going to comb your own hair. A Bradenism, it's like you're combing a friend's hair. This way, this, this way, this position. Okay, go ahead. All right, now start from the beginning. And we have kids go through the song. Swing back, toss up, go forward. But take your time. Your rhythm is going to go slow to fast. The cadence count. One, two, three. Slow to fast. She's going to turn. And then from here, she's going to toss and she's going to twist. Okay, go slow. Slow. One, two, three. All right, now put it all together. Slow. All right, don't follow the ball with your eyes. Almost everybody follows the ball with their eyes. Okay, do it again. So when she turns, go turn for the search, she's going to load. That comes from Vandermeer. He used to actually get players with two bathroom scales on the court. Bathroom scale one, bathroom scale two. You unweight yourself. So now she can turn this hip, the knee in, and most imp importantly, she can turn this hip in. So get turned. So it's going to be this right here. It's going to be one, two, three. Okay, the shoulder goes forward first. The opposite equal reaction is now the elbow goes back, and the racket's going to go in this position and then way out to the side. And she needs to practice that. We say you brush your teeth in the morning, you brush your teeth in the evening. She needs to practice. It just takes a couple minutes in the morning to go through the strokes, a couple minutes in the evening. All right, shadow swing one. Swing back, swing back. And it looks much better. If she were to write things down, one last thing. So it's just the heel pad slightly with the grip, and then we're dealing with a swing but also with her eyes. The eyes will regulate the body. We tell players three words, just bounce, 
target, contact. So don't follow the ball like this, Amaya, with your eyes. So try that bounce. Right from the beginning of the serve, bounce. You're going to hit this one, bounce. Swing back, toss up, go forward. All right, try it again. So it's bounce. Take your time. It's target. Look at the target. Now look at the contact point. Swing back. And st still a little bit, she got stuck where she went like this. Okay, so try it again. All right, hold up. Now, she actually was dribbling the ball like this. You won't see top players do that. Bounce the ball, catch it. Bounce the ball, catch it. Slow down. Get rid of that anxiety. Calm tennis, all right, slow down. All right, so you, you gotta go from the target to the contact with your eyes. Last one, bonus ball. Bounce, oh, slow down again, slow down. Soft with the bounce, soft. All right, ready? Bounce, target, and go eyes to the eyes to the contact. All right, very good. High five. Good job.